Okay, so I've got Maria and Dave with me here today, and we're going to do a lovely warm-up just to get us ready for that kettlebell workout. So if I can get you guys just to stand at the end of your mats for me, and we'll get ready to start a nice roll down. So if you can drop that chin all the way down to the floor, keep going. Once you're down, you're going to hold on to that mat and walk forward and just hold on to a plank for me. So hands nice and underneath those shoulders. Lift those abdominals. We don't want this position. Keep nice and lifted. Hold that there. Then bend those knees and walk all the way back towards your feet and slowly roll up. Just unfolding that chin, pulling the shoulders back and we're ready to go again. Here we go. Knocking down to the bottom. Holding onto that mat and walking those hands out. Hold that plank for me nice and strong. Pull up those knees and bend the knees and walk back towards the back of the mat and slowly roll up. And we're going to add on to those movement, guys. So here we go with a downward dog. It starts off the same. We're rolling down towards the bottom. We're going to walk out to our plank. Hold that there once you've found it. Push back to that downward dog. Armpits down, bring those heels down as well. Back out to your plank and hold that there. Then bend those knees and walk all the way back, slowly rolling up. And we'll repeat that again, guys, when you're ready, all the way down. Here we go. Keep breathing so that we can move through these positions into your plank when you're ready, pushing back into downwards dog. And then floating forward into a plank, bend those knees and walk all the way back for me, slowly rolling up. And we're going to add on again, guys. This time, going with some Spider-Man. Here we go, starts off the same, down, all the way down to the floor, and then slowly walking out, finding that plank position once you've got it. You're down into your downwards dog, heels down. Then you bring the right foot forward towards that hand. You can drop that knee if you need to. If you can, you're going to twist this hip out or this knee towards the side. If you can't, keep that foot and the knee forwards, opening up the hips. We're going to push back down to downwards dog all the way. Then the left leg comes through and does the same thing. Keep breathing, guys. Hold on to those positions and push back. And then we're going to float forwards into a plank, bend those knees and walk all the way back, slowly rolling up. We've got to go one more time, guys. Here we go. All the way down. Take it easy, nice and slow. You're going to walk forwards onto that mat. Good. Holding onto that plank. Then down into your downwards dog. Take the right foot forward, open up that hip. Push back to your downward dog. And take the left foot forward. Good, almost there. Pushing back to the downward dog. Then we need to float forward towards that plank. And then bend those knees and walk all the way back. Doing a nice, final, slow roll up. Good. And you should feel pretty warm. How are you guys feeling? Warm. Warm is good. Here we go. So, we're going to start behind our mats now and pick up our kettlebell. So, first things first, with that kettlebell between your legs, we need to pick it up safely. So, keeping the chest up and forward, the back nice and straight, you're going to lean down towards that kettlebell, bending the legs. And then slowly drive up and we're ready to go. Nice, safe pick up. Okay, here we go. So starting with our first move, we're going to do a slight hip hinge and a deadlift. So taking this kettlebell down towards the floor, keep that chest up and look forward. You're going to drop down and then push up. Just driving those glutes forward. Lovely. All the way down again. And then drive forward. Good, guys. Really squeezing those hips squeezing those glutes all the way forward and just extending a little bit more 
all the way forwards in that, to, in that position, all the way down. Good, nice guys, keep going, all the way. So, the guys behind me have got some heavier kettlebells, so they're really looking at going for about 10 reps per movement, and they'll get a little bit worn out after the end of it. I've got a slightly lighter weight, so for me, if I wanted to make this more effective, I would go for more reps, if that's all you've got at home. So, we're gonna move on to our next position. So, we need to create a little bit of space between those legs, and you'll see what I mean. Take them a little bit wider apart, just so we can swing that kettlebell between those legs. So, first movement, you swing the kettlebell down. Second, you pull it up towards the chest, and then back down again. But we need that to be a nice, smooth process. Here we go, guys. So, swinging through the legs, and then up past the chest, and back down. And you're gonna drive those hips and pop them forward, push, and push. Good. Just like with the deadlift, you're pushing that pelvis forward. Really, really nice, guys. Good job, guys, behind me. <laughs> Lovely. Almost there. Keeping that chest up and the back nice and straight. Here we go. So, creating a little bit more space again. We're going to get a bit of a wider stance and turn those feet out to the side into our sumo squat. So, chest stays up still. We're going to squat down, keeping the knees in line with the toes all the way down, and then squeeze up to the top. And that's your sumo squat. Here we go. And push. And down. And push. And if you're starting to struggle with breathing, start to control it. So, we breathe out on the hardest part. I breathe in here. <sighs> breathe out, drive up. <sighs> Good. We're still driving those glutes up and forwards, straight up. Good. Nice. Almost there, guys. And push. Making sure we don't round off that back. And if you want, you can drop that kettlebell down towards the floor and pick it up. And down to the floor and pick it up. But if you have neighbours, probably not a good idea. Okay, moving on. So that's round one done. Round two is slightly different. We're going to add on some upper body. So keeping in with our sumo squat, holding onto the kettlebell just the same. We're going to squat down. And then once we come back up, we do a high pull. My elbows are much higher than my hands here. And you want to make sure that you don't bring your chin towards that bar because it will hurt. So here we go. Ready, guys? Down for your sumo. High pulling down. Good. And we're really using those legs to pull up. Push. Good. Nice. And up. Really nice work, guys. And again, like Maria is, you can put that kettlebell down and pick it up. So you're starting all over again. Good. Nice work, guys. Almost done. Couple more. Again, breathing out on that hardest part. Down and up. Good. One more. And up. Lovely. Swapping into one hand. We're going to bring that stance a little bit more narrow and swing the kettlebell onto the bicep for me. Taking the opposite hand towards the side. This is really just for balance. So, squatting down, all the way down. Push, good, down. Drive up with those kettlebells, down. Push, down, push, good. If you're nice and flexible, you can do a nice deep squat. If not, don't go down as far. Almost there. One more, breath out. Kettlebell down, we swap grips onto the other side. Resting on the bicep, nice tight grip. Opposite arm out, here we go. And squat, and push, lovely. And we're driving, again, from those heels all the way up. Nice, good. And push, almost there. You should start feeling that heart rate rise. One more, down, and push, good. Swapping over into the other side. We're into a bent over row. So if you guys can just lean over so you're in more of a parallel position now. You're thinking about keeping that thumb in towards the center and then it twists towards the front and you peel back that elbow. So if you guys can give that a go, you're going to start at the bottom and then pinch up towards the back. 
Really nice, guys. Good. So we're trying to make sure we're not over twisting as we pull. Keep the body nice and central and it's minimum movement across that torso. All in the arm, working that arm, the bicep, the shoulders, working a little bit of the back there as well and always the core. Good, guys. If you can swap over, going into the next arm. Lovely. Into that parallel position, thumb in the centre and then towards the front. Good. Keeping going with that breathing if you can. So you're going to exhale, pull. Inhale, down. Good. And lovely. Really nice, guys. Slight bend in the knees there. Perfect. Good. And that is the end of section two. We're now moving on to our third section, which is all about the core. So if you guys can take a little bit more of a narrower stance there, we're going to keep the body nice and tall, chest up, nice and straight, and just lean directly to the side and pull. Good. Directly to the side and pull. Leaning over as far as you can without curving in the back, going too far back or forward. Lovely. And you might want to feel with those obliques as Dave is, just to check that they're still working. Are they working, Dave? Oh, yeah. Good. Almost there. And exhale. Inhale down. Exhale. Good. Last one. And pull. Lovely. Swapping over that grip onto the left side. Reset. Body nice and tall. And here we go. All the way down. And pull. All the way down and pull lovely right down the side and lift that's it check those obliques are working good and we're thinking about this base being like a tripod so the hips here they're staying nice and square and the feet are planted into the ground with nice straight legs almost there guys exhale pull ready and exhale inhale lovely nice work guys almost there two more Last one. Good. And we're moving into our windmills. These are tricky, but they're good. So sticking that weight onto the shoulder, onto the bicep. You're going to lunge forward onto your mat there. Good. Taking this spare hand up towards the neck and then a little bit lower. Good. This elbow here is aiming down towards your ankle. You're going to pop this weight up above the shoulder, directly to the ceiling. As you bring this elbow down to the floor, you're going to rotate this arm and keep an eye on that kettlebell all the way. Here we go. Ready, guys? All the way down and twist. Watch that kettlebell. And up, brace. And again, all the way down. And then back up towards the top. Good. As far as you can. And up, brace. Good, guys. Keep going. So we're looking at this shoulder here. It comes up to the top and it rotates all the way through and then back up, brace on. Hold that core. And again, behind you. Good. One more, guys. Ready? And all the way and up. Good. Swapping legs over. So the other leg comes forward. Same thing again. So your hand is towards the neck, a little bit further down. Kettlebell on the bicep all the way up. Good. Ready to twist those arms. Here we go. Rotate in the shoulder. Watch that kettlebell. Up, contract the core. And again, all the way down. Up and contract. Good. This elbow comes down towards this ankle as much as possible. Good. Nice, guys. And back up. I would breathe in down. Inhale. Watch the kettlebell. <sighs> Exhale. And again, inhale. And... <sighs> Exhale, one more. Here we go, guys. Elbow all the way down. Rotate that arm and brace up. Good. So you'll be glad to know we're now on the mats. Sitting down, but still with that kettlebell. So all the way. Lovely. So this kettlebell now comes up to our chest. You're going to lean back and keep this chest forward. What we're aiming for is a nice tight abdominal area. And we're just rotating in the shoulders. So here we go. Just in the shoulders, round we go, and round, and round, and round. Lifting that chest as you go. I like to breathe out every time I twist. So that's a, and a, and again, exhale, and exhale, good. If you've got limited mobility in your spine, just go as far as you can, 
And so you feel it and you should start getting a little bit warm as you contract in that abdominal area. Good, almost there. One more each side. One and two and place back down. Good, so you guys can carry on and do two, maybe three more sets of this to make it harder for yourself. If you're new to kettlebells, probably one of those is enough for you today. And now we're going to do a quick cool down. Ready? So here we go, back at the end of our mats. We're going to finish as we started off with a nice roll down. So chin down to chest, all the way down to the bottom. And this time just hang there. Just let the arms dangle the head dangle, feeling that stretch in the hamstring, but also across the back. Lovely, nice deep breaths, dropping down with each exhale. Good, grabbing onto the back of the ankles. We're going to bend those knees and then keeping the chest as close to the knees as possible, you're going to unfold and stretch. Good, and again, you're going to bend those knees chest to knee unfold and stretch as much as possible good one more time bending those knees and then unfold and stretch and then very slowly and carefully you're going to roll all the way up right to the top unfold that chin shoulders back and chest up good we're just going to stretch out that upper body so you're going to grab one hand and stretch that over the front Take the other hand underneath the tricep and just pull that shoulder down into the joint and hold on there. Try and really calm that breathing down now if you can, guys. Calming it down. We all okay? We're all right. Good. Taking this elbow round towards the back. This hand is going to try and touch the back of the body if possible. You're going to pull this elbow back, keep the chest up, head up, and feel that stretch across this arm. Almost there, keep that breathing down. And cross the body with the other arm. Cross we go, hook under and pull. Good, and calm that breathing down. <sighs> Taking this elbow all the way towards the back. Again, that hand tries to get across the back. Other hand onto the elbow and pull back, keeping the chest up nice and tall. Nearly there, keep going with that nice deep breathing. Lovely. We're going to interlock these fingers and then push away. So interlock, turn them away. And then we're going to curve that spine and push away as much as you can. Tuck that chin underneath you and really push. Push into those hands, into the back. Hold that there. Keep breathing. Good. And interlock the fingers behind you. You're going to straighten out those arms, lift up the chest, and take it over if you can. And just hold it there for a minute. Keep going with that breathing. <sighs> Almost there. And just let the hands lock down to the side. Let them dangle. Very slowly, we're going to bend those knees and roll all the way up to the top, nice and slowly all the way good shoulders round chest up brilliant guys and we're done well done well done guys that was amazing if you want more home workouts why not subscribe to our youtube channel